Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a special day, as you already know by the title. I'm flying back to Minnesota to meet up with Dennis at Gyrotechnic. Um, finally gonna start building my gyro. We're gonna start with the tail assembly because we need to get that off to paint. So I'm gonna be up there for two days um, doing some building. I think he's gonna have me work on some other things as well. Um, and then I'll fly back up at another time to actually finish building the gyro, but we gotta get her started. So without further ado, traveling montage. guys finally arrived at the destination just outside of Mankato Minnesota and of course this is the headquarters of Gyrotechnic it's always a good feeling to be back in the shop being able to be around so many machines really gets you motivated I mean honestly what's not to like also if you're doing the on-site build assist you literally get to sleep a few feet away from the shop I may or may not have gotten up in the middle of the night and sat in a few of the machines so here's a quick look at what your quarters will be if you're staying on site. You've basically a studio apartment all to yourself. I really can't stress how awesome and convenient this option is. Alright, now let's get to the build. If you're getting the kit shipped to you, the tail will come pre-assembled. However, if you build at the shop, you get the pleasure of assembling it yourself, which is actually a pretty cool process. Alright, so we've got the tail assembly components here. What are these specifically, Dennis? What are we looking at? Okay, so it's broken into the horizontal slab assembly, two of those. Okay. Here we have the vertical leading edge, stationary one. Here are the parts for the rudder system. Okay, cool. And what are we gonna be doing over here on this bad boy? Okay, so this is an assembly fixture that we use to apply the sheet metal to, to the ribs. All the ribs are machined out of solid half inch aluminum. Precision to see for the machine tools we have, it's easier for us to produce it this way than for metal sheet metal. It's much more accurate, nice square corners. All the rivet holes are drilled in ahead of time. Perfect. I have a fixture for here for each of the sub assemblies. This one here is for doing the two horizontal uh, stabilizers at the same time. I have little fixtures here to hold the ribs in the exact position. Nice. All right, so we put all the ribs in and then we get sheet metal and then Turn this on, it's yep. going to fold it around it? It does. If okay. you look at the end here, we have some machine grooves, have these followers come down, so the rollers follow the airfoil shape. Okay, perfect. I started with the horizontal stabilizer. It's a pretty straightforward process, and you'll be an expert riveter by the time you're done. Clicos are used to hold everything in place before you start riveting. One final check that the ribs are in place, then it's time to start bending some metal. During this phase, it was important to install the Clicos periodically to keep everything lined up. Now, plant it. Now, it's going to jump a little bit when you pull the trigger. Okay. So a lot of times, if you're not careful, it'll hop to the side and put a little dent in your tail. Gotcha. So just, just, just be prepared for that. So You'll get used to it. But you do want good pressure down on it to make sure those two pieces are... So just keep, seat, keep yep. some good pressure on it? There you go. Okay. And just, is yep. it one pull? Yep. Yep, oh. see how it just hopped a little bit on you? <laughs> so, yep. Shh, we didn't see that. We'll, there you we'll, go. We'll paint over that. Right. 
Next up, we remove the stabilizer as the next set of rivets will be installed on the workbench. We add the end ribs. And then, the other side. We don't rivet the narrow edge just yet, because we still need to add the trailing edge spacer. Once it's installed, you guessed it, more rivets. Now that you've seen the process, repeat it with the vertical leading edge and the rudder. I'll just give you the highlights. The last thing to rivet up, the instrument pod. And with that, we can send it all off to paint. Next, it's time to get started on the frame sub-assembly. Okay. So we're going to start with the base, base of the kit, all the square, two and square tubes. We have a little assembly stand behind us here. So this assembly stand, I have uh, several of these sitting around. I can, I'll loan these out to builders if you're building at home. So no charge, I'll send it to you, I'll just get it back from you whenever. Works out good. Or you can build your own, basically what it does is there's a seven inch offset from the tail boom up to the keel tube. And then these out here to, for holding the landing here. But it just elevates the whole stand, the whole machine up, so the first assembly steps are a lot easier, so you're not crawling around to the ground. So we're going to start by, since our parts are all powder coated, we do have to ream out the powder coating from the holes first. Okay. And that will be the first step, and then we can start putting them okay. correct. Yeah. All right, so day one is coming to a close. We got quite a bit done. Um, there was just so many little things to do. Actually, everything, well, most of the stuff I did is right here. I can show you real quick and kind of recap it all. Um, the, the tail assembly was essential we needed to get done because it has to go off the paint. So um, each one of these, uh, all the rivets, I mean, every single rivet. So basically the t entire tail assembly is now done. Um, that's these four pieces here. Also did the the instrument panel, which looks pretty cool. Got that assembled and riveted. Pretty happy about that. We're also filming a video uh, for Dennis, kind of going through the steps of how to build them. So it takes a little bit longer than normal, which is totally cool. So, but here's what we got on the frame. This guy right here, look at that. The orange gyro, the, the great pumpkin. Charlie Brown, but um, yeah, I'm super happy with 
the progress. I mean, it's starting to take shape. Like I said, the tail, that'll go off to paint to match this. Uh, I have another day and a half here, basically. Uh, so hopefully we can get some more of this done. Uh, tomorrow would be a really great day to do it, but man, this thing is looking awesome. I mean, I'm loving all the accent, all the detail. Uh, these black accents throughout are just, I think they look great. It's just really gonna pop against the, uh, the orange, the orange frame. But yeah, overall, uh, pretty happy with how it's coming along. The old Gyrotechnic logo there. Um, hopefully tomorrow, there's that bad boy. Uh, so basically tomorrow, starting bright and early, we're going to tackle even more of this, probably some of the engine mounts. Um, there's a few other pieces we can definitely do up here in the front. There's some stuff we're just gonna have to wait on. So obviously the seat is gonna be custom made. Um, we're still deciding what to do with that. Don't have, you know, we don't know exactly what's gonna go in the in the instrument panel. So we have have a roughed out, but probably finish the mast. Um, get some wheels on it or something. I don't know. It's starting to take shape. It looks like uh, it looks like something back there. So pretty stoked to get working on it again. So I will update you tomorrow, and you can keep coming on this journey with me. Catch you later. So we'll do the same thing, we're just going to put yeah. another one in here, I'll just get that compress it. There we go. There we go. I'll go back. Straight. I'm gonna... We want to make sure everything's aligned. <laughs> Take two. <laughs>